This is my friend Nathan, and he is amazing at taking pictures. And we will put a link to his stuff. But he is here with us today, and he is going to give us some tips about taking pictures and also some things that really bug him about the pictures that he sees online. What not to do and what to do in photography. So, Nathan. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna start off with first what not to do. Don't take pictures of your food. Everybody knows what it looks like. Unless you study it a lot and are really, really good at it, no one wants to see your pictures of whatever you ate today. General rule of thumb with pictures, try and get closer. Like, a lot of times, people are just too far away. Another big one is if you're taking pictures, like, say, at Mount Rushmore or something, or you just want to get, like, a barn in the background, whatever it is, um, that you want to have a cool background and put your friend, family member, whoever in front of it, don't put them right next to each other. Back away. Like, if it's Mount Rushmore, you're going to be a few miles away, and there's going to be a nice lot of distance between you and your background. And if you have better access to your background, like say it's a barn or something, don't stand right up next to it. Back farther away, make the person bigger than whatever it is in the background, and it'll make a lot more interest. You take pictures of people, right? Yes. What is an awesome tip for taking pictures of people? How do you capture them in a better way? Um, I'd say the single biggest thing that's, you know, that I see and that I think is important is make sure your camera is ready before you start trying to take the picture. Like, don't gather everyone around and have them standing there waiting while you're fooling with your camera. Fool with your camera first. Take a test shot, you know, make sure the exposure and everything looks right. And then gather everyone around and just take the picture. Make it nice and quick because people get bored really fast. The faster you are, the less bored and nervous or irritated they're gonna look. Sweet. Now what about for people like say that want to start shooting? What would be good gear to get if you're just starting to shoot? If you're just wanting to get into the whole thing, what would be a good camera to get or accessory if you already have a camera say? Yeah, um, I'd say as far as cameras go, find a camera that you can do manual settings with so that you can have better control over what the camera does, uh -huh. whether it's you know, like an aperture or shutter priority setting. The other big one is if you're if you're really getting into photography, make sure you have a camera that can shoot in the raw format. You can do a lot more with a raw file, and it's a lot more forgiving if you get your exposure wrong. Whereas with a JPEG file, you have to be right on; otherwise, you're just gonna you're gonna have a bad picture. Um, even if the moment's great, the exposure's great, and everything else, but if your or composition's great, but if the exposure's wrong, then lost your picture yep and then the other really big one I would I would highly recommend getting a program called Adobe Lightroom uh, Adobe makes Photoshop everyone knows that not everyone knows Lightroom um, but it's a really great way to be able to catalog images and be able to quickly edit them um, and tone them actually uh, so editing the go out, take a lot of pictures with digital after you spend the money on your camera all your films paid for so shoot shoot a lot start taking better pictures thank you so much to nathan having lightroom to go in and look at all the pictures that you shot and select like the best one or the best three like sorry is that? that's her <laughs> she didn't see oh woman that was Christina, by the way, and she missed us. Tail her. <laughs> For helping us and giving us some quick tips. Man, she is oblivious. Oh, there. She is. Maybe we should just call her. <laughs> That'd be better. <laughs> and she took the wrong road, too, on top of that. And I'm still recording. Ugh.